our next talk is about, yeah, but it's a quite different way of approaching UEFI. Yeah. So please give a big round of applause for Akria Muru. That, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, in this talk, I'll talk about Yabit, uh, yet another UEFI covered payroll. <coughs> and uh, uh, here's an um, abstract of this talk. Uh, uh, UEFI is a de facto standard uh, bio specification, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, there's a, a Two types of UEFI implementation: uh, closed firmware and tier no code, and uh, the both has uh, uh, each pro uh, problem problems. And uh, so I propose Yabit, a new UEFI implementation, and it's a fast and light lightweight, lightweight. So and this is my uh, bio. Uh, I'm uh, Akira Moro, a uh, graduate student at uh, Tokyo University of Science. And uh, I major in major, uh, electrical engineering. And uh, I'm research in the field of software engineering. <laughs> and uh, I'm interested in firmware, core boot, UEFI, and the boot process of uh, uh, operating systems. And uh, I I have put it uh, MRuby. Uh, MRuby is a, a small subset of uh, Ruby language, language and, it, and I put it to uh, UEFI shell in uh, 2015. And uh, I started uh, Yabit's project in uh, 2017. So maybe. <laughs> Uh, people in this room know about this and uh, uh, about, but uh, the, let's recap about bio, uh, BIOS. Uh, uh, BIOS, uh, there are two types of BIOSes for uh, x86 based PCs, uh, legacy BIOS and UEFI. Uh, legacy BIOS is uh, uh, the origin of is is a BIOS of uh, IBM PC uh, in 1981, <laughs> which is a uh, uh, very very old old PC, <laughs> and it runs on in uh, 16 real real mode for backward compatibilities, on, and it does uh, does not uh, standardize for so there are many incompatible extensions for for the uh, legacy BIOS. So it is not suitable for mo modern x 64 based machines. So UEFI is proposed in uh, 2000, 2005. So. <laughs> UEFI is a unified extensive firmware interface and it is uh, uh, based on EFI developed by, for IA64 by Intel. And uh, it's a, it is a sta uh, it's, it is sta standard by UEFI forum and you can find the, the specification online. And, uh, and UEFI supports uh, many, many uh, architecture, like from IS64, IS64, IS32, X64, ARM64, ARM RISC, RISC V, and MIPS. Uh, so, and uh, co uh, compared with uh, legacy BIOS, uh, UEFI provides many. Uh, a lot of protocols. Uh, uh, protocol. Uh, so, and uh, almost all x86 uh, based PC are shipped with UEFI firmware. And uh, next, I talk about the uh, current UEFI implementation. And as I uh, as I said in previous slide. Uh, there's two types of two types of uh, uh, UEFI implementation, and it's the uh, uh, Tiano core and uh, other closed firmware. 
And Tianqua is uh, an open source UEFI reference implementation uh, developed by Intel and uh, its communities. And uh, Cross Farm is uh, uh, developed by uh, uh, BIOS vendors or uh, mainboard vendors. And, uh, and uh, Cross Farm is based on uh, Tian Tianqua yeah, and uh, adding some special features. Uh, yeah, uh, like uh, ve uh, very graphical, um, graphical or gaming <laughs> support. And uh, this slide is uh, from uh, Black Hat USA uh, last, last year. Uh, and, and this figure shows the uh, uh, ecosystem of UEFI and uh, and the, the, the center uh, is uh, here is uh, uh, Tianqua, and which is uh, an op open source project. And uh, uh, Bender uses uh, uh, op the, open the open source source repository and provide to uh, other other uh, 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 or as a bio, as OEM BIOS and and the end users use uh, use the uh, use the, uh, the the BIOS and and the, the problems in current UEFI is uh, uh, the, uh, the bugs uh, yeah, remain uh, uh, fixed Tianco if uh, vendor does not. Uh, Vendors uh, do not uh, provide uh, updates. So, and uh, the, the, the feature such as uh, uh, gra graphical or something uh, features are uh, uh, shipped without enough verification, and uh, users can, cannot fix the bu bug uh, unless uh, they reverse engineering the firmware. And, uh, and uh, the, the most of closed firmware use, uses a uh, uh, uses a Tianqua code base, so they have a same vulnerability, even shipped with from different vendors. Um, this is an example of is a Thunderstrike 2, which is <laughs> uh, uh, discovered by a Trammell person. Uh, so uh, I think uh, there is a problem when we using uh, closed firmware. So uh, here is one uh, simple solution: uh, use Quabit. Yes, Quabit <laughs> uh, is uh, an open source BIOS platform, and it supports various mainboards and. And the Quabit is uh, has a, a machine dependent part and. Uh, per payload, and payload is a machine independent part, and which we can uh, put the, the payload to a freestanding ELF executables. And here's a uh, example of what kind of uh, payload uh, here is: um, CBIOS, TN Core, Firo. Uh, grab to Linux kernel, Plan 9, or so on. So we can use uh, uh, Tianqua as a Quabut payload uh, in a Quabut payload. So uh, Tianqua on Quabut is the uh, answer to the previous uh, problems. But I don't think so because Tianqua is uh, too big. From the view you know, of just booting operating system, uh, there's uh, unused device drivers and protocols, and and because of this, uh, uh, its its footprint is very large and uh, takes long boot time. So, I think uh, there's a four requirements for for the new UEFI implementation. One, uh, open source. Uh, two, uh, another code base from Tianqua. Uh, three, uh, small footprint. And four, 
uh, booting fast than other implementation. So I propose Yabit, yeah, yet another UEFI implementation. Yeah. And the design of Yabit is uh, very simple. I just focus on uh, just booting operating system. And, and uh, so it provides just uh, minimal features, only boot services or, and runtime services. Uh, <laughs> Yabit is uh, just a coabut uh, one coabut payload, payload, and uh, it has the uh, same interface as uh, same as UEFI specification. Yes, uh, it's of course because it's uh, it does the main purpose is uh, booting uh, uh, UEFI. Uh, UFI, uh, Sorry, uh, uh, booting a uh, booting a operating system from normal uh, UFI UFI firmware. So, and uh, Yabit has uh, no CSM mode, which is provides uh, uh, compatibility from from uh, from uh, compatibility from uh, legacy BIOS and. Uh, so it's just uh, uh, class three UEFI, uh, pure UEFI for uh, two, 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 two thousand twenty for twenty two thousand twenty, and and the uh, Yavit provides uh, following four features: uh, boot services and runtime services, uh, EFI system table supports and the GUID partition ta table disk layout support, support and uh, just this four uh, features. So this is a very, uh, everyone uh, uh, has, have seen such uh, uh, boot sequence of uh, UEFI. Uh, this is uh, uh, some, somehow uh, simpli simplified but model, but uh, I think uh, uh, the Dixie in Dixie phase, uh, there's uh, as many drivers are loaded. So I think if the driver is uh, uh, just a few, only two or three uh, uh, loading the drivers loaded, uh, we can shorten the uh, boot, time, boot time of the firm, firmware. So, so and, and the, implementation, uh, the implementation is of Yabit is, uh, is uh, from, from uh, Minoka OS, which is a, a Unix-like uh, operating system written from scratch, uh, and it has small footprints and suitable for uh, embedding system. Uh, the description says, and uh, and uh, what is most important thing is uh, uh, Minoka OS has uh, uh, includes a boot bootloader and UFI for booting Minoka OS itself. So, and the the uh, UEFI or Minoka OS in x86 is uh, uh, something like a Tianokua duet, duet uh, package -like, like support. So it boots from legacy BIOS and, uh, and uh, launching the UEFI itself. So I put it, uh, this uh, UEFI of Minoka OS to uh, coabut pair. <laughs> Uh, to quadruple payload and make it run uh, on the real mass machine. And uh, Yabit is uh, uh, currently support uh, two, two architecture, uh, IS, IS32 and X64. And uh, Yabit is deeply dependent on uh, library uh, live payload, which is a, a li uh, library for cloud pay payload, and uh, 
And I also uh, put it, uh, library, uh, live payload to x64 to use the uh, code base. And uh, so I added some translation uh, from uh, uh, protected mode to long, long mode. And uh, Yavitz has uh, only two uh, device drivers, uh, just uh, IDE and HCI. So, and uh, Yavitz is an um, open source project, so uh, here this link, the, yeah, the link is, uh, here the, uh, the source code is available on this link. So, and uh, the and the license is ZPL uh, V3. So yes, you can try it. You can try it. So let's see the, let's see. i show you the demo. Uh, this is an um, uh, um, execution on, on um, QMU. It boots. Yes, uh, it's too fast to show you, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, but uh, at this uh, this. Uh, phase, or oh, it's already boot up um, OpenBSD bootloader, and it's boot. Uh, yes, boot OpenBSD boot is very long, so uh, skip, skip. Yes, uh, we can uh, use uh, uh, shell as normal and uh, using some uh, use it as a as web server. <laughs> well, so yes, you can use it. So. Uh, as a normal normal operating systems. So next, I show you the comparison of the boot time of uh, Yavit and uh, default default BIOS of uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X two three O. Okay, this is the, <laughs> the result, but <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, let's Let's uh, start. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so so I uh, evaluated the boot time um, on. On the machine, on your machine, so the boot time of Yavit is uh, two times faster than that of uh, default default of uh, uh, ThinkPad ThinkPad X two three O. And uh, I also uh, tested on on QM with uh, OVMF, and uh, the boot time is, of Yavit is nine times faster than that of the OVMF. Uh, uh, and uh, what about uh, footprint? Uh, and the I compare the, the binary for QA, QM, and uh, here's the here's the Tiano Core and OVMF and Yavit. And Tiano Core is the uh, Tiano Core itself and the core boot, core boot, core boot. And this shows uh, the footprint of Yavit is ten times small. Ten times smaller than, smaller than that of Tiano Core, and so so here's a uh, me, here's a many many uh, uh, to do list as a, fu a future work. Uh, I want. Uh, uh, Yabit is currently uh, supports only x86 based space GPU, so I want to uh, add, add uh, ARM architecture support. 
and uh, Yavit uh, does not have, currently does not have a setting menu, uh, so I, I'll add a, add a setting menu for, to Yavit. And uh, 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 people, uh, people uh, uh, concern about the security uh, will uh, I need we will need uh, a secure secure boot, so secure boot support will be uh, is uh, is desired, and uh, uh, as showed before, uh, Yabit uh, support uh, uh, provides uh, just a very uh, few uh, protocol like uh, simple text input or output protocol, so. It does not uh, provide a uh, graphic output protocol, so uh, I will add a uh, graphic GOP support. And uh, the, the, big, the biggest milestone in, is uh, uh, supporting Windows boot, 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 but it will be, uh, it's maybe a very, very hard t task. So, and uh, yes, uh, Yabitz is, uh, uh, has, uh, has uh, just one uh, contributor, me, and uh, <laughs> I'm looking for someone to contribute to, contribute to, so please uh, give, give us a, a pro request and please contribute. So, uh, con uh, con as a conclusion, uh, UEFI replaced uh, legacy BIOS in legacy BIOS, and uh, there's two types of UEF UEFI implementation, uh, Tianokua and other closed firmwares. And uh, Tianokua is too large in the view of uh, just booting operating systems, so I propose Yabit, which is a fast and lightweight yet another UEFI implementation. And uh, it's uh, designed for embedding system and bare metal clouds. Um, the, the link be, uh, below is the uh, uh, official site of Yabit uh, I provided. So uh, let's uh, take a look. Please look at this uh, page. Uh, so <laughs> that. Uh, so, yeah. and, and I'm, uh, this uh, Yabit is uh, just my uh, a uh, private uh, project, so I'm look, uh, looking for a, a sponsor <laughs> or uh, something uh, so that I can uh, con continuously uh, working on this project. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for doing this talk. OK, we have a lot of time for questions. Oh, there are uh, questions. Hey, thanks. Uh, thanks for the nice presentation. Uh, the issue brother from Intel. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, OK. Yeah. Uh, so my question is that uh, you told that you were using lip load, right, for all the drivers. You were not using EFI, any services and all for the driver and all, right? For example, your SATA or your EMMC, different booting media, right? So you are using lip payload? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, can you go to your some slide earlier? Sorry, uh, back to, sorry. Uh, yeah, maybe just you start with that. I'll just stop you. Uh, lip payload or somewhere you mention. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, uh, this, uh, sorry, the, which, which? Yeah, 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 here, here, yes, right. Okay. Yeah, so can you just see the, sec the sec second line that you mentioned that deeply depended on the lip payload, uh, yeah. right? So, uh, so today the depth charge, depth charge is a payload for Chrome OS, right? Yeah. So depth charge is heavily depend on the lip payload. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So from Intel side, uh, the Intel run lots of their validation with UFI shell, right? Because we use the uh, Windows world, we use UFI. And we have lots of application, like for our validation side, that we run from the UFI shell. But when it comes to the Chrome OS, 
uh, we cannot run the same service with the UFI shell because the UFI uses its own native stack. And we want to run something based on the lib payload service and all, right? So there I could see a good opportunity to use your payload. And I'm not sure that do you have any shell kind of environment where you stop your system and we can run the native shell applications and all? Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh. So uh, the, uh, sorry, the question is uh, uh, is uh, is a uh, uh, the bus driver is uh, is uh, uh, the um, sorry uh, uh, sorry sorry the sorry, the question is uh, uh, yeah so never mind so I just mean to ask you that uh, do you have any console where you stop your system and mm -hmm. you can run some application before booting to OS? Mm, uh, yes, uh, it, provi <coughs> it pro <coughs> provides uh, uh, con, con out, con out, con ins, uh, such as such as uh, as, uh, as they as UEFI specification says. So yep. I, <coughs> I uh, yes, I uh, provide provided uh, uh, con in con, uh, con out or STD uh, STD uh, error. To uh, f from uh, uh, live payload uh, printer, printer, <laughs> something. So, so yes, I provide. Yeah, never mind. I'll just send you an email, so that will be help you to summarize. I will send you an email. With <laughs> my proposal. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, hey, no problem. Yeah. Welcome. Most welcome. Okay. Another question. What sort of licensing do you have? Uh, license, OK, license. Yes. Minoka yes. uh, OS um, yeah, is a uh, uh, VPL uh, version, version 3. So the uh, Yabit also uh, licensed under the term of VPL uh, version 3. And some, some code, code uh, imported from uh, other projects is uh, 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 BS, BSD license, uh, so uh, yes, but, main, but mainly uh, at ZPL v3. Thank you. So I'm interested in the comparisons you're making on time with the uh, payload, because I mean, the, the speed that you're getting is very good. But you're comparing the the original BIOS, which has a number of capabilities you have imported, and a number of drivers that yeah. you don't have, like GOP, and the uh, UEFI payload um, at a fixed configuration. So yeah. to get the the scale down you were looking for in Yabits, did you consider taking the payload and rebuilding it with some of the modules you didn't need removed. In other words, taking the modularity already in Tionicore and scaling a solution down rather than, you know, are you using a scaled down solution to compare to the speed you're getting? So that you're essentially comparing the same type of payload in Tionicore to the exact capabilities you have in Yabbits. Yes. Uh, uh, I fit. I uh, when I uh, generate uh, uh, generate generate a uh, core boot ROM, uh, um, I fix the uh, fix the uh, size of size of uh, core boot fix the core boot ROM, ROM size to uh, fit fit uh, fit as uh, as the as the as the uh, size of the, uh, Payroll, payroll, payroll size. So, it uh, yes, uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, um, I oh, uh, I tr I tried to uh, uh, equal 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 uh, condition tried to uh, provide. Uh, uh, equal, equal. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, um, provide a equal, uh, uh, equal uh, uh, 
condition to uh, TR no core or OVMF or uh, Yabit. So it's, uh, yes, it, uh, TR no core, uh, on TR no core, uh, it's uh, 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 TR no core, core, uh, uh, TR no core, core boot payload and uh, uh, core boot itself. And uh, Yabit, on Yabit, Yabit is a, uh, uh, on Yabit, it's also Yabit, Yabit and Kabut itself. So it's it's com, it can be. It, I think it can compare with uh, with with uh, compare uh, comparable. Yeah. So the the Tiana Core plus Core Boot that you have has GOP or no GOP? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, the Tiano Core example you have, does it have a GOP driver uh, or a graphics driver of some kind? Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, the Tiano Core, does the Tiano Core example you have initialize graphics? Does it turn on graphics? Okay. Uh, so, so sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss offline. We can talk outside. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ask you a question about the Tiano core, right? What, what, what? No, no, but, but, yeah, yeah, but this is what you are asking. Does this Yabit is actually stripped Tiano core, right? Yeah, we can talk. We can talk offline. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, right. Is it possible to use Yavits to build a Dixie, a DXE, that would then be usable in Tiano Core? Uh, uh, Yavits, in, uh, Yavits in, uh, includes the enti entire uh, phase of uh, UF UFI mm -hmm. phases, so maybe it cannot, cannot uh, load, uh, load uh, Yavits in in uh, Tiano Quas, so. Mm. But are there DXEs that Yabits builds as part of Yabits, or is it one single um, binary? Yes. It's a single binary. Yes, it's a single okay. binary. Thanks. It's very nice work. Any more questions? Okay, thank you. Give a round of applause for Akea Muru.